Hi everybody, it's more Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pecan crusted buttermilk fried chicken. Now, the first step in making this is to brine or marinate your chicken in some buttermilk for about 20 minutes in the refrigerator. And I've already taken that step, but I don't know about you, but I don't keep buttermilk around in my kitchen. So what I usually do when I need buttermilk is I sour some milk. And the way to do that is to take one cup of milk and to that add one tablespoon of lemon juice and let it sit for about five minutes. And after about five minutes, you'll notice that the milk is starting to curdle or sour. I don't know if you can see it on here, but you can kind of see the chicken in here and you can see the milk has curdled or soured. So I've already taken that step and I'm going to set that aside and we're going to take the next step, which is to take a third of a cup of plain breadcrumbs and a quarter of a cup of pecans that have been chopped fine and one teaspoon of a Cajun seasoning mix. And I'm just going to give that another little pulse or chop in my mini food prep just to get it all mixed up and to make sure I got all of the pecans because you don't want a big chunk of pecan in this. You kind of want it to be more of a crust. See, I do have a couple of bigger chunks in there. And I, those are just harder to eat, I think. So, the next step, let me put my gloves on here. And while I do this, um, back here on the stove, I'm going to turn an oven-proof skillet on to medium-high. There we go. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of canola oil. Oops, I'm going to get a grip on that with the gloves. And I'm just going to give that a good turn around the pan. I'll set that over here. And I've also got my oven on at 350 because we're going to pan fry the chicken breasts for a little bit and then we're going to put them in the oven for a little bit. So, the next step then is, and remember this is the wet hand, dry hand thing. Again, one hand is the wet hand, one hand is the dry hand. And I usually do it the other way, but there you go. Um, and you're just going to bread your chicken breasts with that breadcrumb pecan mixture. What the buttermilk does is it does impart flavor, but it also um, makes the chicken more tender. So the next step is to lightly spray the top of the chicken with some olive oil cooking spray. And then we're going to add the chicken breasts to the pan. And we're gonna cook those for about two and a half to three minutes her side. So this has been cooking for about six minutes total and I'm just going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. So here we go. Here is our buttermilk pecan fried chicken. That wasn't too hard guys. Give this a try. I know you've got this. 